welcome back to new and improved South Sestos Football Club TV, sponsored by Squire Hair. You're in for a treat today, Mid-Essex League fixture today. Sestos are away from home. Let's take a look at the lineup. Grimes in net, Street and Law centre backs, chosen centre back partnership with Conan's Harry, full backs. Andrews, Wade, Godfrey make the three in midfield. Andrews the holding, Lunn and Lake on the wings, and top goal scorer Craig Penn up front. The usual 4 1 4 1 formation Andrews and Perry have gone with. And I believe it is time for kickoff. I'm no offence. And this is hopefully going to be a good game. We should see an attacking display from both teams. Last time they played, it was South Sestos came away with a 3 0 win, courtesy of goals of Fonseca and Warner. Obviously, this is a return fixture, the home fixture for Bewley, so they're obviously going to be wanting some sort of revenge. Sestos do have the kickoff. It's James Perry with the ball. Perry into Lake, Lake back inside, finds Godfrey, Godfrey finds Andrews, who then finds Jerome Wade's brilliant bit of football to start with from the Sestos, ball's been switched over to Jake Lunn, he's approaching the area, can he finish, he can do, and Sestos have gone 1-0 up in the first 30 seconds, exactly the start the club would have been looking for, and I don't think Bewley touched the ball, we'll see from the replay here, it was played into Wade's feet, he's taken one touch and switched it. 40, 50 yard ball into the path of Lund. Lund breaking into the area, no one catching him. Sponsored by Jordan Cell. And that makes it Bewley nil. Sestos won. Perfect start, like I said. They literally wouldn't have asked for a better start. 30 seconds in, 1 0. Game on. Bewley have a penalty. What we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the fixtures Sestos have coming up. They've got this League Cup semi final next week. Join us for that. Then Old Chelm, Silver End, Bradford Reserves, a potential final. And then Dern in the last game of the season. Bewley step up for the penalty and they've scored it. It's one all. 16 minutes into this game. It's actually been quite a tight game, even though it did look like it was going to be a whitewash 1 0 after 30 seconds. Bewley will play it round at the back. They'll give it straight to Craig Penn and he'll punish them 2 1. He wasn't going to miss that, and that's his 15th for the season. 22 minutes in. Ball's bouncing around, Jake Lund will collect it. He's had a dig from 28 yards and he's buried it. 28, 30 yards out. It doesn't phase him, that's his second of the game. Sestos taking command in two goal lead. He hits it with such venom, keeping it up a chance. Bewley Park one, Sestos three. Ball's with Cohen, Cohen to Andrews. Andrews into Lund, linking up well. Andrews through the legs of the player, back to Jake Lund. Jake Lund into Brad Godfrey, this is good by Sestos. Sestos could score a brilliant goal if Craig Penn no, he's just put it wide if Craig Penn finishes that I'll be up there for goal of the season I would have thought lovely play by the team if Craig Penn catches that on the volley we're talking raptures but still 3-1 lead at half time there's the whistle commanded it has to be said apart from the penalty you couldn't really see Bewley getting back into the game it's been mostly all Sestos half time will read Bewley part reserves one Sestos three next week Great Bradford Reserve, the League Cup semi-final, shout out Shannon, you know what time it is, and a big thank you to your club camp, as always filming our games, making sure videos are on point, let them know if you need a game filming, now we're back to the second half here at Bewley, Sestos attacking to your left, Bewley in the red and white attacking to your right, Godfrey wins the ball, finds Wes Wade. Wade into Craig Penn, it's bounced a bit. I think Bewley will clear, they will. Danny Cohen will go for the 50 50 and he wins it. Nothing new there. Sestos will hold his shape and it'll go out for a throw in. 55 minutes in, free kick by Bewley. Grimes will collect it, spilled, and the Bewley have scored. Against the run of play, it has to be said. All the same, Bewley see some light at the end of the tunnel. Balls are coming down the right, Jerome Wade will go over. Sestos have enough back to deal with this. The ball's played into the big man, he holds it up. What's he going to do with it? He puts it back to the centre midfielder, who's wrapped one in with his left foot. And out of nowhere, Bewley Park are back in the game. It's 3 all. And you can't say that they don't deserve it. They've been the better team in the second half. Grimes collects the ball. Out to Jake Lund. You can hear the management screaming for him to press the ball forward. Jake Long with a ball around the corner. That is an exquisite through ball into the path of Craig Penn. And you already knew the outcome. 
Sestos restore their advantage. Bewley Park 3, Sestos 4, thanks to Craig Penn. And what has to be said, a brilliant through ball by Jake Lund. Craig Penn, not even looking where their goal is. Strikers finish. Ball's going to be picked up on the right by Danny Cohen. He's done well to get ahead of his man. He's still got another man to beat. He's beat him as well. Danny Cohen, can he deliver a good ball? He can do it. It's a great ball. Craig Penn inches away. Jake Lund arrives at the back post. It's still in. Jake Lund keeps it in. He's found Craig Penn. Craig Penn's got Matt Smith with him. If he needs him, he might not need him. A goal on his own. But great save at the near post. A great effort by Craig Penn. And great play by Danny Cohen on the right, who has excelled over there. Him and Lake have both looked good when pushing forward on the flanks. Here's Lake back to Jerome Wade. Jerome Wade looked to deliver. He'll battle for it. He's done that well all day. You have to say he has battled all day. Andrews wins the ball. Goes for the shot. Shot's deflected. It'll run into the path of Jerome Wade. Jerome Wade's got a chance at a half volley. It's just over. Just. We're approaching the last couple of minutes. Josh Lake with a sh Oh, well, there's a shot come across. It's hit the post either way. Oh, Andrews goes down in the box. Panic at the disco here. Jake Long, can he go for the hat-trick? He wants the hat-trick. He's going for it. Nah. It's a good block in the end. Bewley get it away. Bewley are panicking. They just need to get it clear. We're in the 93rd minute. Matt Smith and Andrews will see the clock out. Yeah, that's it. It's going to go. Now, surely if Sestos have done enough to take the points, it has to be say it's been a back and forwards game. You never really know which way it was going, especially when Bewley broke into the. Oh, there's a bit of shithousery from Andrews. Especially when Bewley got that third goal, you did think, is, is there a comeback on? But Sestos held firm. It's full time here at Bewley. Final score Bewley Park Reserves 3, South Sestos 4, a deserved win for the Blue and Black Army of the Sestos. Next week, Cup semi final. History awaits the Sestos. There can only be one winner this time. It's looking handsome in Blue and Black. We've been Sestos, you'll be beautiful. See you soon. Semi final time next week.